Let's bring in Lindsay Walters, national spokeswoman for the RNC. An open convention. What would it look like? Yes, we're preparing for all scenarios. You know, we are at the RNC gearing up for whether we have a nominee or we end up in an open convention. We're preparing for all scenarios, including the open convention, and we'll be ready if that does become the reality. The, um, the, there are concerns being expressed by, expressed by Donald Trump's campaign uh, that some of the delegates out there being awarded might not necessarily be loyal to Trump, even if... Uh, they are awarded as a Trump delegate. How do you work that out? The first ballot, they are required to vote for the candidate that they are pledged to, correct? What happens with the delegates and how they are, whether they are unbound, pledged, or who they have to vote for is up to the state party rules. And yes, if we do go into an open convention, there's an entire process behind that. And each of the individual candidates will have their delegates going into the open convention and then once you get there it's up to the state party rules as to how those delegates farm out from there trump uh and, and i suppose some of the other campaigns are maintaining that the party is not being fair to them how do you answer that question we're here to ensure an open, fair, and transparent process, and that's exactly what we are doing. We have been open from the beginning. We are preparing for all scenarios so that we are ready, whether we have someone who does reach the majority or we do end up in an open convention. Our role in this is to ensure that we have, have been equal and fair to everyone, and that's exactly what we're doing. So what happens if Trump rolls into the convention with, let's say, 1,200 delegates? Uh, you need 1,237. He says... He should be the nominee, nominee in a situation like that. What do the rules say? The rules say that you have to have a majority. The minority does not win. The majority wins. And this has been a rule that has been in place for decades, for as long as we've been having this process. And so if you're short, that doesn't mean you have to reach that number. We can't just say, well, you were close, you now get it. That's not how the process works. The process says that you have to have a majority, and the minority does not determine who our nominee will be. The majority does. So 1,200, 1,235 votes wouldn't make Donald Trump the Republican nominee. In order to be the nominee heading into convention, you have to hit 1,237. That is what the process has been, and that is the majority. And again, the majority is who determines this, not the minority. The, the process is complicated, and, and not necessarily everybody understands it. But again, uh, the charge coming from some is that the, the uh, Republican National Committee is trying to stack the table, stack the deck against Trump. The RNC, our role in this is to facilitate. We do not set the rules. The rules are set by the RNC Rules Committee, and that Rules Committee is comprised of 112 delegates, one man and one woman from every state. And these are delegates who are elected at the most grassroots level. This is not up to the RNC. We don't determine who those delegates are. The voters make that decision. We have the three candidates on, stay on the screen uh, there, uh, Kasich, Cruz, and Trump. You probably know Scott Walker, the governor of Wisconsin, and a one-time candidate himself said the other day that uh, he thinks possibly none of those three might emerge from the convention as the nominee. Is that a possibility? Anything is possible, but I think that scenario is highly unlikely. We have two candidates who could reach the majority. We have three who are running, and I think that if you look at it, the three who are there, if we do end up in an open convention, they're the ones who are going to have representation on the floor because they are going to have the delegates through this process who are there for them. I think you know, anything is possible, but it's, I would say it's very highly unlikely that you see an outsider candidate come into the floor. I believe that one, our eventual nominee will be one of the three candidates running for president now. Lindsay Walters, the spokeswoman for the Republican National Committee. Thank you. Thank you.